Home automation with ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module is very simple as compared to Node MCU ESP8266 and Arduino boards. With ESP32 you can control different types of AC and DC loads over very long range using Wi-Fi or short range using the ESP32 built-in Bluetooth module and this is the reason I prefer ESP32 or ESP8266 because ESP32 has a built-in Bluetooth module and more it has more analog and digital pins. I have a very detailed getting started tutorial on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module which explains the very basics including the ESP32 pinout, technical specifications and how to install the ESP32 board using the Arduino IDE. I will provide a link in the description. Anyhow, with this circuit, you can control your home appliances from anywhere around the world using your cell phone, which has an application designed using Blink IoT platform, which I will explain later in this video. For the demonstration purposes, I have connected a small 220 volt AC fan, 12 volt DC, double seven five DC motor, and a 220 volt AC bulb. These AC and DC loads can be controlled from anywhere around the world. I designed this circuit for only 4 loads but you can increase or decrease the number of loads as per your requirement. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. Feel free to visit their website jlcpcb.com slash RHS to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer but also to easily upload your Gerber files and this order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. You will only need to pay $2 and plus you also get coupons which you can use at any time. So this way you can order your prototype PCBs absolutely for free. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. I will also explain how to control the same electrical loads using the ESP32 built-in Bluetooth module and an Android cell phone application designed in Android Studio. There is no need to make any changes on the hardware side. With this circuit you can convert your existing electrical switchboards into Wi-Fi or Bluetooth controlled switchboards. I'm sure now you have got the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Jevin is the female DC power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 module and the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground of the ESP32 module. These are 12 volt SPDT type relays and cannot be directly controlled using the ESP32 module. So that's why we need a driver to control these relays. You can use a relay driver IC or you can use 2N2222 NPN transistors and a 10K resistors. One pin of the relay coil is connected over the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor while the other pin of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now to control these relays you simply need to connect these 10k resistors with the ESP32 I.O. pins. In this project I am using the GPIO pins 13, 12, 14 and 27. I will be using the same pins in the programming. If you remember in my previous home automation project which was also based on the ESP32 module. I used a ready-made relay module due to which the size and cost was increased. 
so I decided to design another PCB and fixed all the electronics on a single PCB. I double checked all the connections and once satisfied, I generated the Gerber files and placed an online order on the JLC PCB official website. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to generate the Gerber files, how to create a free account on JLC PCB official website and then how to place an online order. I will provide a link in the description. This is the PCB board which I received from the JLC PCB. As you can see the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. Next I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. This is how the PCB board looks after soldering all the components. I also added these holes on the left and right side of the ESP32 if in case you want to connect some sensors. You can connect AC or DC loads with these terminal blocks. This is a 220 volt AC fan. This is a 12 volt DC double seven five motor. And this is a 220 volt AC bulb. My connections are completed and now it's time to make the blink application.
My application is ready and now let's take a look at the Home Automation ESP32 programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download the Blink Simple ESP32 library from our website. You can find a link in the description. This is the authentication token which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Next, I defined pins for the relays. Four relays are connected with the ESP32 GPIO pins 13, 12, 14 and 27. Inside the white setup function, I activated the serial communication using the serial.begin function which is used for the debugging purposes while 9600 is the baud rate. I set all the devices as output using the pin mode functions. Inside the while loop function, we have only one function which is the plain.run. So that's all about the home automation ESP32 programming. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. As I said earlier, there is no need to make any changes on the hardware side if in case you plan to use this circuit with a Bluetooth supported cell phone application, you will only need to write another program for the ESP32 module in order to be able to receive data wirelessly from the ESP32 using Bluetooth. Let's take a look at the ESP32 Bluetooth module programming. This program uses only one header file bluetooth serial.h and you don't need to search for this header file because you will get this header file once you install your ESP32 board. If you are using the ESP32 built-in bluetooth module then you will need to add these lines of code. Next I defined a variable blue data of the type long integer. I will be using this for storing the passwords which will be sent via Android cell phone application and will be compared with my predefined passwords. Four relays are connected with the ESP32 pins 13, 12, 14 and 27. I selected strong passwords to control these relays. In the wide set of function, I activated the serial communication and I also set the Bluetooth device name as the ESP32 electronic clinic. Next, using the pen mode function, I set all the relays as the output and using the digital write function, I turned off all the relays as by default, I want to keep all the relays in off state. In the wide loop function, we are simply monitoring the Bluetooth module. So if the data is received, then compare it with the predefined password values and if the received value is the same, then turn on or turn off the load. For more detailed discussion, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. So that's all about the programming. In order to control these relays wirelessly using Bluetooth, you will need an application on your cell phone which you can download from our website or you can design the one by yourself by reading my article in which I have explained everything. Now let's watch the ESP32 Bluetooth module based home automation in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.